Hey YouTube, I'm back. Just wanted to show, I, I pulled a couple of things off the wall that I haven't really looked at in a while. Kind of forgot about these. These little hero patrols from Jada. I do have a couple, I have this one and the white one. Um, both on the blister and loose. At the time, they were the only ones I wanted, but I kind of wish I had gotten the Crown Vicks. I think it's a little late for that now. I'd have to go to the secondary market. Don't know if I want them that bad, but uh, just wanted to show those. Also, pulled uh, some of these off the shelf. I have the Mustang. These are the Maisto All-Stars. The Mustang. The Gone Mad. Chevy Nomad Gasser. Pretty cool. Probably my favorite one here. 65 Coupe de Ville. Um, another one that I like a lot is this Ford police car. Pretty cool. And then the 442. So we got those. And uh, just in getting ready to pack some more stuff. Pulled these out. I'm getting ready to pack these. And gosh, it's been months I've talked about a possible review. So uh, before I go into that, I, I noticed my previous video 20 views with 2 dislikes, so that's 10%, which means it's probably going to get more dislikes, and I can only assume that it's getting the dislikes because of what I said about hiding cars, and uh, I just want to say to any anybody that subscribes to my channel, or anybody that watches my videos, um... If you have a problem with people doing that, that's fine. I respect your opinion. Uh, I've been collecting, I don't know, a year and a half or whatever. Uh, I know, you know, I'm in a handful of Facebook groups. I deal with people every day, buying, selling, trading, shipping, receiving. And uh, I don't think I've come across anybody that doesn't hide a car that they want when they don't have the money or don't want to spend the money to get the car. So uh, I'm not going to apologize for it. I respect your opinion. I would encourage anybody that collects, if you come across a car that you want and you're not in a position to buy it, I would encourage you to hide it somewhere so that you can go back and get it because that car is going to be better off with you than it is with somebody else, especially if it's a chase car. Uh, so I do encourage my my subscribers, my viewers, to hide diecast cars. Now, I find hiding spots too, and uh, if I do, if it's something I want, I'll buy it. If it's not, if it's something I don't want, I will leave it so that they can get it. But I also have had my cars that I've hidden found. And it's a two-way street. And it's just that, aha, you got me. And uh, for me, it's nothing but respect. But uh, if that's why people are disliking my video, I respect your opinion. But uh, it's like the person that complains that you're selling a Super for $25 when it's only a dollar car. Um, or somebody that goes and finds four or five supers in a shipper and buys all of them and doesn't leave any for the next guy. Show me one person that does that. Nobody does that. And yet, I hear people complaining. And it's kind of hypocritical. So, um, I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the people that dislike it are the people that money's not an issue and they don't have to do that. They just buy what they want when they see it, and so they get upset when other people hide stuff. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. Like I said, I respect your opinion, but I don't apologize for it. I'm not going to stop doing it, and I encourage anybody out there that collects 
to hide the cars if you want them and you are not in a position to buy them. Hide them until payday so you can go back and get them because those cars are better off in your collection than they are in somebody else's. And that's all I have to say about that. And uh, so before I get these packed up, just wanted to go over these real quick. This is uh, 8 out of the 10 um, of the, I think they were called the Supreme Heroes from Matchbox. It's the first premium set that Matchbox has brought out in a long time. I think they came out last summer. Been out per, over a year now. Um, but they they have rubber tires. They're not metal base. It's not a metal base, but they are more detailed. Um, and they're nice. They're nice cars. The Supreme Hero set was... Uh, you had your fire truck... It actually had a couple of fire trucks. It was all um, first response vehicles. So if you're into that kind of thing, then it would be a set you would really like. If you're not into that kind of thing, then and you just prefer regular vehicles, then it might not be the set for you. I like Matchbox. Uh, I do try to collect a lot of Matchbox, and so when they came out with the premium line, I got pretty excited about it. Um, so, you can see, I mean like this one here, you have, <clears throat> you've got the uh, rear details with the brake lights, and uh, the lighting's really bad. I apologize. It's probably not going to focus too good. I don't think, you know, I don't know for sure, so I won't say. I don't know if these are based on actual police and fire departments or not. Uh, I don't have the packaging to check to see if they're licensed. But they, they are, I mean, they did a great job with the detail. And uh, getting rubber tires on Matchbox, it's not common, uh, at least not the last five or ten years, so it's pretty cool to actually get something from Matchbox with a little more detail. Chevrolet Suburban, cool truck. Um, probably my favorite in that lineup was this ambulance. This thing looks super authentic. Got the light bar above the cab. Very much like the uh, International from Greenlight, although it's scaled way different. Uh, this one actually does have a metal base. This one is a metal base and a metal cab and a plastic box. So this one is pretty cool. I like. I just like the detail. Look, that one to me looked the most authentic. And then here you have a little police interceptor, Crown Vic, which for a matchbox, it's pretty nice. But once you've dabbled with the green light Crown Vics, um, it's hard to uh, take this one too seriously. Still a nice little car though. And I don't know which two I'm missing, but uh, there were two that I didn't get. So, the premium cars that they came out with, after the Supreme Hero set, there was a lot of buzz about these uh, best of. And on the packaging, it says that these are Series 1, which is an indication that there are more coming. And... Uh, if that's the case, I'm stoked. I can't wait to see um, what else comes out. So anyways, this uh, Series 1 was a 10-car release, or a 10-casting release, I should say. We'll start with this one. This is my least favorite. Um, it is a cool casting. It's a BMW motorcycle. It's the uh, R1200 GS. It's heavy. 
Uh, it doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of plastic in it. I think just the back bags. Actually, those, even those are metal. Um, the windshield and the tires are the only plastic. So everything else is metal. The, the saddlebags, the seat, the engine, all of that is die cast. So it's heavy. It's heavier than any of the cars with the exception of the bus. But it's a motorcycle, and it's a 64 scale motorcycle, so what I don't like about it is uh, here you have a 64 scale Ford Explorer. The motorcycle is the same. It's the same size as the Ford Explorer. And it's just, they, they don't belong together in my opinion. So I hope when... Uh, when they do come out, if they do come out, because I don't think it's officially been announced. Uh, I'm speculating just because the packaging says Series 1. Uh, it's just speculation on my part that there's going to be more. But hopefully if there is, uh, there's more of an emphasis on cars and less emphasis on emergency vehicles and uh, motorcycles. Um, the next one... My second least favorite is this fire truck, the uh, Mac Pumper. Now, I like the truck. The detail is great. Um, the coloring is, is really nice. Matchbox does make a nice fire truck. But the issues that I have with this is the scale. Um, th this should be much larger than the other cars. Um, it's obviously not a 64 scale fire truck, but if they did this in actual scale, it would be huge and it would be heavy and it would cost a lot more than $3, so I get why they do it. I guess where I'm most disappointed um, with the fire truck being in the best of series is that we just had fire trucks, nice, you know, rubber tire fire trucks with this the um, Supreme Hero set, so I wish they would have left this set more to um, automobiles. So, let's see, working the way up, I pretty much like the rest of them, so um, here we have the uh, 65 Austin minivan, and uh, this one is pretty cool. You can see the uh, the detail, you know, for being a Matchbox car. Matchbox usually does decent with the detail. Um, they they give you more headlight and taillight tampos than Hot Wheels does, I think, but they still don't do it enough. But with these, you do get the detail. I mean, you have look at the turn signals. You can see the chrome casing that the uh, that the bulbs are in they have the headlights um, pretty cool graphics little panel van here Battenberg's original I don't know what it is maybe somebody knows if you do feel free to comment uh, you do have your side view mirrors so these, you know, this one is a plastic base. I think all of these are plastic base, actually, other than that motorcycle. Um, my next, probably least favorite, and I say that it's it's my next least favorite, but I still think it's an awesome casting, is the Route Master. And this thing, this is your quintessential Mac Matchbox casting along with the London bus. This thing is awesome. It's heavy. Got the rubber tires. These actually say the scale on them too, I think, somewhere. Um... Nope, it doesn't. But anyways, it's just a double-decker 
bus with cool graphics, rubber tires, it's super heavy, really cool. I don't mind the Route Master in this set whatsoever. I'm actually kind of glad they put it in there. This is the best of the world. So, you know, you have the Route Master from London, you have the Lamborghini here from Italy, the BMW from Germany, the Land Rover from, I think those are English too, but I could be wrong, the Cadillac and the Mustang from America. So you do get a good variety of, uh, of cars. This Lamborghini is sweet. This is the LM002. It came out originally in yellow in the main line. But with this one, you do get a lot more detail with the headlights. Got some graphics on the side. And you get the rear end detail. Um, this one is actually warming pegs in my area. Which kind of surprises me. Um, let's see. This Mustang here, a little Fox body, police car, 93 Mustang LX SSP. They did a phenomenal job with this. This is the same casting as the one that came out in the main line, the black and white one. Also just came out again in silver, but this one does have rubber tires um, with a lot more graphics. You have tampos on the top. Tampos on the side. Uh, this is plastic headlights that are part of the the windscreen, I believe. And then you have the painted tail lights, brake lights, or tampoed brake lights with the license plate. Look at the detail there in the back seat. And I think that's all the same as the main line. I'm not positive on that. I would have to pull it out to check but uh, but another thing too I haven't really talked about is these cool boxes these will make it nice when I move just throw them in the box and box up the boxes um, so that's pretty cool the Supreme Hero set did not come with boxes uh, next up for me would be this BMW 1M <clears throat> Now, when this set was first announced and the pictures came out, a lot of people freaked out about this car because of the tires, because it looks like kind of like off-road tread. I don't mind it too much. I don't think it's, I don't think it's over the top. It would look better probably if they weren't so knobby. But that is a sharp-looking car. You can see the graphics going across the side are. It's a matte or a satin finish with the rest of the car being gloss and same thing on the hood you have that matte graphic with the uh, the rest of the car being the gloss you got that peanut butter color interior um, really nice headlight tampos Best of the world on the front license plate with that little BMW logo that my camera will never focus on. And then you have the brake light tampos, best of the world on the back. So I thought they did a really nice job with that. The tires don't bother me so much as they do other people. Uh, it's, this hobby is very subjective. Everybody has different taste. This thing is awesome, too. This is a Land Rover Defender 110, and it's an ambulance. Now, this year in 2016, they did change this casting. I don't have it yet, but Lamley does a pretty good review of the differences of the casting and I actually like the new one better even though they've taken some metal out of it I think it has a better look it has a more ground clearance and a more aggressive stance so they did a really good job with it but I do like this one too with the uh, the lights above the uh, windshield the snorkel 
Uh, it also has the custom front bumper, nice headlight details, um, medic vehicle, MBX, ambulance. The knobby tires definitely look better on this. And uh, even have some detail on the spare tire cover. The Land Rover logo. Got the ladder going up to the top. And uh, so that is pretty cool. I like that casting. And this was the last time you're going to see this casting. So the one, everything coming out 2016 forward is retooled. Uh, but it's they did a great job on it, I think. Uh, my next favorite, probably my second favorite of the set, is this Cadillac. This is the 69 Sedan DeVille. It's the four-door DeVille. It's the same casting as the green one that came out in the main line. Uh, but you get a lot more detail with this one. With the, uh, the chrome molding going across the car, you have the painted door handles. Uh, you have a painted roof. The roof is black. Uh, really nice color blue. And uh, front end is the same as the main line. Uh, again, you do get the rubber tires with this one. You don't get that with the main line. But the big difference is in the back end. Now, you do get the Cadillac logo. I don't know if it says Cadillac on the main line. But you don't get the painted red headlight or brake lights, I don't believe. I would have to double check on that, but I don't think you do. I could be wrong. But they did a great job with this car. I love Cadillacs. I love the M2 Cadillacs. I love the Hot Wheels Cadillacs, the Matchbox Cadillacs, uh, Maisto. Um, and I can't wait until Greenlight starts putting out the 64 scale Cadillacs. Uh, actually, I think they're already out. And then my favorite, and the hardest one to find, is the Dodge A100. This is a very coveted casting from Matchbox. Um, this, this car, I think I have found six of these. And I've got two. I got I sold and traded the other four because that was back when they were getting around fifteen dollars a piece. They've come down significantly in price, but you still can't find them. I can't find them anyways in the wild. I was at Toys R Us today. They had probably fifteen of the best of, and of course these ones were gone. These are always the first ones to be scooped up, and it's easy to see why. Even the main line of this casting is incredibly hard to find. But uh, just the color of this, the green, it's a really sharp green and the graphics are awesome. There are some new variations of this coming out in the main line here in 2016 that I would love to get. I do wish they would have at least done the brake lights would have been nice to have the Dodge painted uh, with the brake lights and maybe the hinges on the tailgate, but at least do the brake lights. I would take headlights and brake lights over racing graphics any day. I might be a minority with that opinion, but uh, I would prefer authenticity of the car. Uh, they did a great job with the headlights and the front end and I do like the top the checker flag top um, this is just a great casting anybody that collects matchbox probably has some some matchbox release this is a fun one to customize too it's easy to customize uh, it's an easy vehicle to tape off if you want to get different paint tones and stuff like that so anyways I got these out of the display case. I'm going to get them packed up now. Figured I would do a review. I thought it'd be a lot quicker than 25 minutes, but I also wanted to touch on my last video. If so, if you guys are offended by it, um, you know I, I don't really know what to say because, like I said, I'm not going to apologize for it. Uh, I hope that you don't stop watching my videos because I'm a collector that hides stuff. 
um, for you know so that I can go back and get it later. Uh, I would encourage everybody that watches my videos that collects if you find something out uh, whether it's Hobby Lobby or Walmart or Toys R Us if you find a car that you want but you can't get it go hide it somewhere hide it in a really good spot so that no one finds it but hide it and then go back and get it the only thing I would say is if you decide not to get it at any point then you know put it back um, uh, that's one thing after watching the last video um, there are probably a couple cars I should go put back and I will do that I'll either go buy them or I will put them back but outside of that I don't think there's anything wrong with it um, the cars are better off in your collection than they are in the next guys so Thank you again, everybody, for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you at the next video.